Hi guys, Tech Regan here. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you a neat trick to simulate slow network or slow internet connection in Node.js. Now, if you want to test your 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 loading effects in your front end, let's say you're using Vue or React, you want to test your loading effect and see how it works when your app is on a slow network, right? To see it. So now I'm going to be showing you this in this video, right? So before I get into this video, let me adjust my chair and sit properly. See you in a bit. Now, I'll be using my YouTube clone project called VTube for this demo. The link will be in the description below. I also have an ongoing tutorial right now teaching how to develop um, YouTube clone with Node.js and Vue.js in this channel. The link will be above, right? I don't know where it will be above. I'll leave the link to the description, but not. Okay, so now, so what I need to do now is to start up my server and see how it works. So let me go to my VS Code. Now we can see this is my VS Code. Oh. I already started the server already, right? So let me just for the video's sake. So I'll cut this. So I'll say npn run dev to start up the server. So you can see MongoDB connected. So it's actually working. So now what we need to do is that we need to create a middleware before we get to um, our router, before we get to any endpoints. We need to create a middleware before we get to any endpoints. So these are created middleware. Now this is. Um, this is the code right this is everything right here so this is these are all my endpoints so i need to create a middleware before i get to all these endpoints so a set timeout middleware if i get to all these endpoints so what i need to do now is to say app.use then we say request and respond then nest well, i'm going to use this nest to get to this nest middleware so now we're passing the arrow function right so what we need to do now is to set it set timeout so when we get to this middleware we're going to wait for um the seconds that we're going to set here before we get to each of our routes down here okay so now what i need to do is to say set timeout and we're passing an arrow function right then what we need to do now is to say for about let's say three seconds for about three seconds before you get to the um end point of our end point. So i'll say three seconds i want three seconds so it's 3000 milliseconds so now i shall come here and i press see i can see next now the next for callback so now this next this next function simply means that once this um set timeout has elapsed like once we get to three seconds i want it to go to the next middleware which are all of this right here the alt route the user route the categories route the video route and so on and so forth just like that okay so now let's test this. So I have a nice documentation, right? I, I wrote a nice documentation for this. So if you docu if you want to learn how to create an API documentation, if that interests you, I'll leave a link to a video tutorial I created above. Okay, so now let's test this. Um, so now this is the postman, right? So what can I use to test this, right? So let's see. So I'll go to videos. I go to get a public video. You can see how we arrange everything in Postman. So when I press send, it's going to take a while for it to reach the endpoint. About three seconds. Can we see this? So we see we're gotten to the endpoint for three seconds. If I try it again, it's going to take three seconds for it to reach the endpoint. You can see this. So now I'm going to use. I'm going to test this now with um. Our front end with the Vue.js front end to see the effect I'm trying to let you know. So let me go and go to my Chrome editor. Now this is the front end, right? So if I hit refresh now, let me refresh it. So you can see how long it takes. It's taking like three seconds for you to load, right? So if I go to trending, we have the same thing right here. So don't forget, I have a I'm having an ongoing series on how to build this application. You can check out my channel also on that. Okay. So now that's just it for the video, right? That's just it for the video. Um, before you go, if you're new here, I create tutorials on programming, tech in general, and tips like this. I'll give you time to subscribe and hit the bell notification to get notified when I release new content. That's it, guys. Please don't forget to hit the like button if you like this video. Thank you and thank God. See you in the next one. Peace.